Welcome, guys. It is the Axeman here, and we are back on Oxen 5 and 4 with some more Mega Monsters. Yeah, <laughs> boy, Tilly, why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> why does it look like I've just, like, shat myself or something, and she looks shocked? Like, oh, my God, dude, really? You did that? You did that in front of everyone? Tilly, stop looking at me. Oh, God. You know what? You have a massive head. You have a really big head, Tiller. Still cute, though. So we're back with some Mega Monsters, and honestly... I don't think a series is ever going to end. I'm just going to keep going. We're going to get this series to 100 episodes. Mark my words. <laughs> so last time out, we did some SCPs. We got a couple more additions to to them. Uh, I think we did do a hybrid as well, didn't we? Oh, yeah, look, I've got another Godzilla floating. Um, I've got to do another Kaiju episode at some point and these Kaijus. But uh, today, hybrid day, as you can probably tell by the title. We're going to do a couple of hybrids, three or four of them. Uh, we're getting sort of close to the end of all the hybrids. We've got a couple we've got to go back on and which we missed um, We've got like a t-rex and a spino to do today, which I'm interested in and in the future We've got pretty much the wyverns and then the operational ones. So uh, yeah, not too many of them left So we'll probably get like three of them done today I reckon but before we do start we do have an announcement to make so tomorrow which will be the 6th of August. Axeman plushies are going to be released. You can get your hands on a little Axeman plushie. They are super freaking cool, super amazing. I've got a picture up now. I should have Axe editing Axe. Make sure you put the picture up, please. Um, that's the uh, the prototype I got. It's uh, amazing quality. They are awesome. If you did purchase a cupcake plushie, you will know they were a little bit on the expensive side, but that's because I had to do all the work on it and ship it and all that stuff. So it was like a one-man team sort of feel, uh, deal. But these are handled by a company, so they are like a fraction of the price. I think they're $25. Uh, but the way this works is we need to sell 200 of them to get put in production. If we don't reach 200, you will get your money back. If we do reach 200, you will get an Axeman plushie. So make sure you go to the website. I'll leave a link in the description, also the comment section. Make sure you go to the website, sign up right now, and then you'll get an email when they get released on the uh, on the 6th of August. Um, but yeah, make sure you grab one of these. They are amazing, and uh, I freaking love all the details on it and stuff, man. I would love to see everyone sending me pictures and stuff. Um, anyways, yeah, just plugging that. I'm going to be plugging that for like the next few weeks. I think I think they got for 21 days. I think the campaign's 21 days. So yeah, you've got 21 days to save up and grab one of them. Right. Uh, also, make sure you're liking the video, subscribing, ringing the bell, enabling notifications and all that stuff, okay? <laughs> and uh, yeah, quick question of the day then. So... As all the rich people are going to space, would you like to go to space if, there's to say, the ticket prices were, like, as expensive as they were to go on a plane? Would you go up, not even into space, you know, like, just on the line where you're classed as going into space, but you're not actually in space space? Would you really want to do that, or would you wait until you can actually do freaking rocket ships and actually go into space space? Like, space, see the Earth from above space station space i'm talking about <laughs> all right so let's just crack on then uh right so uh, i think we've done i think we've done all type four all of type three i'm not sure if we're missing any out of here allosaurus in the day oh yeah, we definitely got that got all the views i just know that they added like one or two creatures that i didn't want to miss them out yeah spider monkey like, this one we never did, did we? The Verrazino and a Spino. So we're going to do that one today. Um, I don't think there's any others from here. So Spinosaurus and a Verrazino. And then we're going to do... Uh, they're all in, like, such weird orders. We're also going to do the T-Rex and the Spino. So there's two of them. Now there was one more. I've <laughs> I've looked for these. Now. I just keep forgetting. There it is. The Quetzal and the Rock Golem, which I just can't even imagine what that thing's gonna look like. So Spino, Verrazino, T-Rex, Spino, Quetzal, Rock Golem. So that's what we're gonna get done today. So we should probably start with the Verrazino and the Spino. I'm pretty certain we've not got that one right. I don't think we did. <laughs> I've done like so many of them now. Like, the, uh, you're not a Spino Verrazino, are you? Are any of you Spino Verrazinos? 
What's up with your face, dude? Oh, no, we did do it. Here it is. It's just not loaded in. Okay, I thought we did it. All right, perfect. I'm glad I came down and had a look at it or I would have been very embarrassed. Which means I can move on to this one, which I don't think we've done. The Giga Stego Sarko. Pretty sure we've not done that one. So we can do that one. T-Rex Spino, Quetzal, Rock Gollum. So I say we start with the T-Rex Spino, right? I say that's a good place to start. Uh, let me just go and sort my inventory out because I've just got like shit everywhere, man. Let me put this away and I'll bring it back once we're all ready to... Uh, to go okay here comes our first one so let's get to our regular platform we know where we stand here we've got an scp peeking hey sir stop peeking put your head down there so t-rex spino uh right they've changed all this out so it's got a class now ferocious interesting description a very vicious carnivore that is both quick in the water and on land the large snout from the Spinosaurus and the bite force from the Rex makes this hybrid not only effective for fishing, but also reaches enemies a little bit more and crushing them. Okay, so I'm guessing T-Rex body, a longer snout as it says, with a spine on the back. I mean, what else can we have? Like the Spino's body isn't too different when it's on all on, on two feet than a Rex, so. Hmm. Oh, let's go. What's it actually called? A Kaiser, a Kaiser Spina Tyrannus. Kaiser Trinaturus Branus. <laughs> oh, I was pretty much spot on. Okay. Um. Right. Your head looks freaking massive. <laughs> your head looks so big compared to your body. Stop looking at me. He looks like a chibi, like, just grown up. So it's got, like, little sails in the back of his legs. That's pretty cool. Has he got a sail... Tail? Sail tail? Yep. I'm a poet, and I didn't know I was one. It's got a sail on his back, obviously. All right. I mean, we can see both creatures in there. I just feel like... His head's way too big. His body's too short. Is it just me? Is it just, like, the angle I'm looking at him? Oh, no, 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 sir. No moving. Hmm. Interesting stuff. Interesting stuff. All right, so you have the body of a Rex, right? Oh, you got a picture of a Spino. Uh, okay, I'm going to have to make a Rex saddle first and test it out. I do love your colors, by the way. That orange underneath. Beautiful. So, yeah, we'll take him down there and give him a quick run out. Uh, we've got to make sure we use him in the water as well. Don't forget Axe. Water. Use him in water, because I always forget test that out with creatures okay we are here and we got piranhas after us straight away hello piranhas do you want me to eat you because i'm going to test this out 283 which is a left click get some meats and we do get the water buff which is good uh right click see X. Alright, so we just do the one attack. Just the one attack. Alright, let's fight a land creature. Are all of you like normal? You're not all gonna come and eat my booty real quick, are you? Roll rat. Let's fight you. So 257 without the water buff. Do, does the rod do anything? Does it scare you? Does it weaken you? Nope. Just the raw. Okay, so, I mean, hmm, he's cool, he's strong, doesn't really, uh, I don't know, it's lacking a little summit, it's lacking a little summit, um, hmm, maybe if he, uh, I was gonna say maybe if he could attack with his arms, but they're too small, it's obviously got both creatures in, it's got the Rex, the Spino, you can see that quite clearly, it does have the Spino ability with the water, but it's... Mm, let's, let's try it swimming in the water. Is it deep enough here? Are you a good swimmer at least? And of course... Oh, no, there we go. Uh, okay, we didn't really swim that fast. That was only a little short bit. 
trying to freaking get out of here. I'm not sure why you'd want to eat a massive carnivore like this. Hmm. The primers are really annoying in this game, aren't they? <laughs> I forget how annoying you are. Get the frick out of here. I'm a massive carnivore. Why would you want to eat me? So, yeah, I mean... We're not actually getting the water buff right now. The water buff actually didn't apply to us. Interesting. Hmm. All right. Well, look-wise, I mean, you couldn't really do anything more with it. Um, so looks is a good 8, 9. Abilities and stuff, I'm not overly fond of it. I feel like it needed a little something more. A little pizzazz. <laughs> oh, God. Looking at you head on, very weird. <laughs> he looks like Donkey from Shrek. Okay. Um, I'd give you a 7. I'd give you a 7. You're just all right. Okay, here comes the second one. So we've done the Quetzal Rock Golem, which this one just sounds freaking bonkers, man. <laughs> this one just sounds absolute madness. So it's called a Colossal Dra Colosso Draco. Sounds pretty cool. It's a tank, which you'd expect. So description. A giant flying reptile with some sort of rock as its armor that heavily reduces damage of bullets and deflects fire. This hybrid also has the ability to harden its armor, increases its armor, but decreases its speed. Well, it's a Quetzal and it's a rock golem, so speed has never been any of its like strong points, has it? <laughs> they are both stupidly slow, but that sounds interesting. So... It's going to be a Quetzal covered in rocks. I cannot imagine it's going to have, like, rock golem arms or legs. But let's have a look, because this sounds like a madness. All right. Oh, God. I'm inside of him. I'm inside of him. Uh, let's have a look. Oh, good titties. You look like you've got some disease or something. It looks like you've got, like, fungus growing on your head. You are... What is... Is that an arm? Is this an arm? This is crazy. It also doesn't help that we got one with, uh, like, rock-colored skin. I'm not sure if they all have rock-colored skin. Huh. I mean... You know, like... Looking at it more... It kind of looks a little bit cool. Just, I don't understand how that thing would fly. I don't understand how a Quetzal would fly. Any, I don't even understand how planes fly. Let alone a chicken. A chicken. <laughs> let alone a bird covered in rocks. Okay. Uh, right. Look wise. I mean, like they've done everything correctly. Like, like it's a Quetzal. You can see both creatures. I just don't like it. Looks for me would be a six like how I think it, I like it but like in terms of combining both creatures it's a good 9 right like, it's pretty spot on uh, right let me go get a Quetzal saddle because I want to see how this bad boy flies I want to see what this this arm what even is that so it had a custom saddle of course it had a custom saddle Here we oh I didn't see these things on his shoulders that's pretty cool alright let's see then they are his arms look at his arms this dude does arm day every day. No leg day. <laughs> Look at his legs compared to his arms. Okay. Full speed ahead. Oh, God. This is why I've, I don't think I've ever... I think I have tamed a Quetzal, but, like, once. I don't think I'd ever want a Quetzal. Like, they are just way too slow. If I wanted to get from this side of the map to the other, that would take me a long time. Too much. Too much time. All right, so I am interested to see if it would, like, throw rocks and stuff. Uh, right, so let's do... Left click, I'm guessing, is just a bite. Yeah, just a bite. Right click. Oh, is that it's hardening? Iron hide. The rock armor has thickened, giving more resistance to damage, but made it slower. Um... I mean... Has it? Has it made it slower? Right, we're over 12 seconds. Let's see if he speeds up when that runs out. I... Oh, hang on. We're going to run out of stamina as well. I don't think it's made us that much slower, right? right? Here we go. One second left. Oh, not by much. 
Not by much at all. Jeez. All right. Let's land. See? Oh, sweet. Okay, you do a wing attack. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, right click, still the same on ground. X, uh, control. Oh, okay. Are you a normal gacha? You're a rampage gacha, so we want to leave you alone. I just want to try that C attack on you. Is it even an attack? Okay. Uh, left clicks. The decent attack. All right. He's, um... It's pretty strong. Where's that? Oh, the gacha crystal. It's pretty strong. It looks very funky. But then again, what would you expect from a Quetzal covered in rocks? His abilities are cool. I guess, like, if he was playing on a, a PvP server, like, a lot of these creatures seem to be made for PvP. Like, this thing deflects bullets and fire. And we've had, like, creatures where they can... Once you make them hybrids, they can damage metal and stuff. So it seems like these creatures are created to be made, you know, within PvP and stuff. But, uh, yeah. Interesting stuff from you. Obviously, you can't swim because you're a flyer. Um... I would have gave it a 9 if he could, like, shoot a rock out his mouth or his arms or something. But because he can't... I think we're just going to go for a 7. Because I don't really like Quetzals and I don't really like Rock Golems. It's it's not you. It's me. Okay? <laughs> it's not you. It's just me. Alright, let's get back up here. So the last one we're going to do today is the Giga. And whatever else it's mixed with. A Stego and someone else. Alright, I'm back real quick. This is the Giga, Sarko, and Sego. I knew I'd done it. I knew I'd done that one. God damn it, like, I'm very close to actually getting them all. Um, what are the last ones we need? So, like, Plorodon leads Sigfius. We've not done. I don't think we've done that one. Done you, done you, done you, done you. Flyers, we've done both. Herbivores, I think we've done them all. Uh, a beaver rock golem? Have we done a beaver and rock golem? I think we have. I think that's somewhere. Uh, obviously, we've got the wyverns. Now, we've done all of tier S as well. Herbivores, yep. I honestly feel like... Is there any other little ones we've missed out? There's got to be one we've not... We've, like, accidentally looked over. Okay, and we're back. And I honestly really struggled to find a creature we hadn't done. I believe this is the last one. Uh, the Liplorodon lead Sigfius. Um, I'm sure I've done all of the other ones. I had a look for all this and I was like, yeah, checked all them off and stuff. So if I have missed one of the smaller ones, let me know in the comment section. Um, but I believe all we have left is to do the Wyverns and then the operational ones, which is like a Mega Giga and a Mega Rex or something. So there's probably like five left. But like I said, yeah, if you know that I've definitely missed one and you've played this mod or whatever, let me know down below because uh, I want to get them all done. But uh, yeah, last one then is going to be a water creature. So it looks like it's going to be a big one as well. Lead Sigfius is obviously the big whale. Uh, I do have my scuba gear because I came well prepared. Uh, this seems like it'll be deep enough, right? So I'm guessing... Lead Sigfius with flippers on its side, maybe. Um, let's give it a quick read. Should have done that on land. Uh, a giant whale-like fish that has teeth the size of a person. This hybrid produces high decibels that can exceed up to 160 decibels, making anything in its proximity paralyzed for a limited time. It can, all, it can also breach out of water to catch prey 30 meters above the surface. Yo, this thing sounds freaking amazing. Also, how loud is 130 decibels? Or 160, whatever it was. I want to know. Boom. Here we go. Okay, we do not need a saddle. Perfect. Okay, you are just a lead Sifius with a crazy mouth. Interesting. How fast are you? How do you get out of water? I want to see this. Do we space? Ah, not really 30 meters, was it? Oh, we've got eel after us. Hang on, eel. Yeah, not really the greatest jump in the world. Do you want to go? Okay. I'm, I'm paralyzing them, I think. 
Okay, that hurts a lot. Oh, wow. Ow, jeez. He stunned me. You know what I do need to do? I do need to get a taxidermy because things in the water like to kill this dude or any water creature. Um, I'm actually a little bit disappointed. He seems a little bit boring, honestly. Let me just grab a taxidermy real quick before we get eaten by Summit. Perfect. So, left click by right click. It is paralyzing thing. Still an eel behind us. It didn't really sound very loud. C just goes down. X. Hmm. I mean, I was expecting this thing to clear the wall when he did his jump. Are we ready? Jump! I can go backwards. I'm like a dolphin! Okay, I can do this though. Yo, I pick up some speed when I do this. Oh, this is... Look how fast we're going. If you just look up and spam space. Look at us go. Jeez, nothing's catching us. Oh, is this is the end of the world border. Sure is. Yeah, the the uh, jumping out of the water is not the greatest thing. Red right? jump. I want him to be like up in the air. Hmm. All right. Well, let's get back to home. So we're gonna look up. We're gonna K mode. Okay, do get back. Wait. Why are we not going back? There we go. Oh, we're not picking any speed up this time. I don't know what I did the first time, but that was amazing. Oh, well. An Omega Rampage Auto has appeared. That sounds lovely. Oh, I'm out of stam. That's why. Okay. Let's just grab some stam. So, um, yeah. I, honestly, the war creatures ain't been the best. I'm trying to think what the good war creature was. The Basilisk one was pretty cool. The big, massive sea serpent. But all of the others have been kind of just, meh. You know, like... I'm not really a huge fan of the water creatures. I think they could have done a lot more with this dude. Spam. Let's pick up some speed. It takes a few of them to do it, but yeah, we we'll get a bit of speed. I can see my Godzilla from here. Hmm. Alright. Not overly impressed with this dude. Honestly, like... Uh, I'd probably give it maybe a five. If that. I'm, I'm just, I'm not feeling it. Not feeling it. So, out of today, the Spino Rex has probably been the better one. And then again, the Quetzal was more unique. Oh, I don't even know, man. I don't even know. Uh, right, you lot have to do your ratings down below. So, the Rex equals whatever. I think I gave it a seven or an eight. Quetzal... I think I give that a 7 or 8. Fish equals, and then whatever you want. Probably like a 5-ish for me. All right, let's get back home. And we'll taxidermy these. And then we'll have a quick gander at the last couple left. And we're back for the last time today. So these were just the most awkwardest taxidermies I've done. Uh, so I've had to do the fish in the middle. Now, uh, he's actually attached to this one <laughs> he's actually attached to this one yet yeah, he's all the way over here so i've just made him like you know we'll put you onto a free you can be the centerpiece this flyer support pole no idea where that's from i've turned that off on all of them we have a random fly support support this dude is as big as i can make him and as tall like the adjustment height is as tall as i can make him otherwise he's all the way down below so Super awkward, but I guess he kind of works in here in there. I wish he was a tiny bit bigger and he would look, you know, more filling. Quetzal, wingspan, way too long. This is, I think, war, it might be 1.1 the size. Any bigger in his face comes out of the glass. Um, but yeah, his wingspan goes over them free, so I've like, you know what? Have a whole set. And then the Rex, probably the only good one, the one that actually fitted. Uh, he's 0 0.9 the size. Uh, his nose still pops out a little bit, but I really don't care too much about that. 
But there we freaking go. Yeah, I know this wall's not in line. I, I just can't be bothered with S plus snap points. <laughs> it's too much work. So we've got the tiny little space left in here for probably the wyverns and stuff. So let's just have a last quick look. I know we do this every episode, and then by the next episode I forget. But let's just have a quick ganders at what we've got then. So we've done all of... Uh, all of them apart... No, actually, no, it's these ones. We've done all of these apart from the wyverns, which is a poison and a lightning, a fire and a poison, and a fire and a lightning. That one sounds freaking amazing. So we'll probably make all three of them next time we do hybrids. And then we should be on to these two, which is Operation Exo and Operation Urban Fear. So we'll probably, like, see if we can snag them. Uh, apart from that, I don't feel like we... I think that's them all done. But like I said, if you know any I've missed, please let me know. But, uh, yeah, we'll spun them out. You know, we'll do them over a few weeks. Because I do want to do the next Kaiju from the Godzilla mod one. Which is, like, the... Uh, he looks kind of like a spidery dude. I always forget what he's called. But, uh, yeah, I want to get him done. Obviously, we've got SCPs to do. We've got these Kaijus we need to get as well. Because we, it's been ages since we uh, got one of them. Um, but, yeah. That was... Uh, we, we're probably not going to get to 100 episodes. But you never know. There might be new mods that we need to add and stuff. I would like to reach my second series of 100 episodes. We're getting closer. We're halfway. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, if you did enjoy the episode at any point, make sure you do whack a like on the video. Make sure you're subscribing. Make sure you're ringing the bell. Make sure you're checking out the Axeman plush, which will be released tomorrow. And thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you in a bit. See you later.